Since August 13th, the wall has been growing steadily. The people of Berlin who belong together can't even visit each other anymore. They can't even see one another anymore. Heavily armed supervisors check not only the wall, but those forced to build it. These workers labor under a mantle of shame and disgust. Bravery is commonplace over there. Mother and daughter, separated, torn apart, and now even such painful goodbyes are impossible. The guards beyond the barbed wire now prevent anyone from even approaching the wall. There is no other way out of this lawless regime without rights. No citizen of the Federal Republic in uniform is to be found in West Berlin. In East Berlin, on the other hand, the members of the Soviet Zone People's Army pass everywhere unhindered, again in violation of the Four Power Agreements. On the days following August 13th, the Communists brought up more barbed wire to the sector boundary. Communist-led factory fighting groups brick up the last gaps in the ring of barricades. A wall of concrete runs right through Berlin. On August 13, 1961, by order of the East German puppet regime, the divided German capital was literally sliced in half. Unparalleled in history, this act of force separates more than three million inhabitants of a city against their will and flagrantly violates international agreements. 